Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable sublimation frosted glasses. And these have the little bamboo lids. I absolutely love them. This one turned out really cute. I'm going to mess with the settings a little bit more on my convection oven with this next design, but this turned out really super cute and I absolutely love it. These are 16 ounce um, frosted glass jars and they are from Ava Jane's Blanks. I've never heard of Ava Jane's Blanks, um, but I will put her link down in the description. Guys, these are a very, very, very popular thing to do right now. So like everywhere is sold out of them and thankfully I was able to find some at Ava Jane's Blanks. So definitely go check her out. Her prices were really good as well. So I got my blank sublimation 16 ounce frosted glass here and this really cute decal I know it's mirrored but it says dead inside but caffeinated and it's got the little like messy bun skull um, with a little coffee beside her and I love it I have a shirt that says dead inside but caffeinated so I wanted to make a sublimation glass and first, let me give you a quick rundown of what you're going to need for this specifically. If you're new to sublimation, it is so much fun. And I can't say it's easy to do because I do mess up quite a bit. But it is quicker than doing like the epoxy tumblers. Um, but I do like them both. So of course, you're going to need some specialized tumblers. If you're not doing the frosted glasses, then make sure you use the special sublimation tumblers they are usually white but in this case I'm using the frosted sublimation glasses and you are going to need a special printer so you're not going to use like your regular inkjet printer that you would use to print off water slides the most cost efficient way to do it is to get an Epson echo tank printer and convert it so I do have a video that I'm going to have floating up here somewhere um, with more information about how to convert your printer really really super easy and um, way more cost efficient than buying like an actual sublimation printer because those can things can be like thousands of dollars so the printer you need the sublimation ink and what I am using I will I will have everything linked down in the description um, but when it comes to making the tumbler I like to use a convection oven some people like to use a tumbler press I've even seen some people put them in an air fryer um, but I am using a convection oven that I got from Amazon it is a black and decker Honestly, it was the cheapest one that I found on Amazon and it works perfectly fine. Do not put these sublimation items in your like day-to-day -day use oven. When you do sublimation, um, it releases a gas that you do not want to be mixed with an oven that you put your food in every day. So get a separate oven or a tumbler press or whatever you want. Just make sure it's separate. You'll also need sublimation paper. There's so many different brands out there. It's just whatever you like the best. So I'm going to have everything linked down in the description. You can find sublimation bundles at inkjetbiz.com. I will, of course, have their link in the description. And you can use code Courtney's Customs, all caps, all one word, no apostrophe on the S. But use code Courtney's Customs and you will get a pretty good discount. So here we go. All right, so here's my convection oven over here. It's kind of in the way. I... Listen, I don't have a very big shed, so <laughs> everything is kind of in the way. So what I'm going to do is take my image that I printed mirrored, and you want to print it mirrored because you're laying it face down whenever you do sublimation. So you can't have it facing the right way once it's printed because then it will sublimate on there backwards. So I'm taking my heat tape because yes, you also need some heat tape. I'm gonna cut off a small piece lay my image backwards, pick it up with my tape, and now I'm going to just make sure I put it centered on the tumbler. Now I'm going to go through with the tape and I am going to put tape on four sides to make sure that everything is laying down good and flat. And I'm making sure that everything is nice and tight when I tape it. So now that the image is taped on there, if you have seen my sublimation videos in the past when I do like the stainless steel tumblers, um, I like to take painter's tape and tape the image around after I use the heat tape to make sure it is on there really good and tight because you want your image to lay down nice and tight or you will get ghosting, which means there's going to be like some faded spots and you don't want that. 
but these glasses kind of scratch a little easy so I don't want to put a whole bunch of tape on there so I'm going to come in with some shrink sleeves and I will put a link in the description for these as well and I'm just going to slide the sleeve Once I slid the entire thing down in there, you can use a hair dryer or a heat gun or anything that you want to shrink this down to make it nice and tight around the tumbler. So I'm going to actually use my heat gun. Now that the shrink wrap sleeve is on there, I'm going to just lay this in my convection oven. Um, the last one, this one right here, it turned out really good, but I did it at about 410 degrees, I would say, for four minutes. I'm going to do this one at about 425 for five minutes. All right, so I forgot to mention that you do want heat gloves as well. So I will put a link in the description for these ones as well. But I'm really excited to see how this one turned out since we did a different temperature and time. So really, you should probably let it cool down a little bit, but I'm excited. So I'm going to just try to start peeling this off. Okay, it turned out really super cute and I love it. So about four, 410 degrees for four minutes, about 425 for five minutes. So you guys can see the difference there. I love them both and I'm super excited. I have about 10 more of these and I'm gonna make more. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, a problem is a chance for you to do your best. That was said by Duke Ellington. That is all I have for you guys today. I really hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I know this is super popular. There's probably a lot of videos about this right now, but I had to make one because they're so much fun to make, so super cute, and I wanna keep this one and just go fill it up with iced coffee. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.